faculty, professors, and esteemed guests. We would like to welcome you to Wharton's 100th MBA commencement ceremony. My name is Dia Bajaj, and I'm, a, I'm, War and I'm Wharton Graduate Association's Executive Vice President of Leadership and Engagement. And my name is Kyle Rodriguez, Executive Vice President of Student Affairs. Before we welcome the rest of our class to graduation, we wanted to highlight the uniqueness of our class. We are the first MBA class in school history to be majority female. We are the first class to have applied to grad school during the COVID-19 pandemic. We are a class of global citizens, hailing from 83 different countries. And we each have a unique background. Before school, we were athletes, bankers, actors, consultants, and about everything in between. Together, we've shown determination, grit, and perseverance. But you already knew this, because you are our loved ones who have stood with us each and every step of the way. The future is always unpredictable, but one thing I can promise you is that the class of 2023 is ready to lead the world through whatever struggles lay ahead. And with that, I would like to welcome Warden's 100th MBA class to graduation. <laughs>
Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Kip Werner, and I'm a member of the Wharton Graduate Association. It has been my privilege to spend not only the last two years with you all here at Wharton, but my four undergraduate years as well. Spending this much time here has shown me that this experience is almost entirely defined by the people we meet. While our classmates play an integral role in this experience, now is the time we acknowledge that this is equally matched by the interactions with our illustrious faculty. Like the student body, many of our faculty are former entrepreneurs, professionals, and advisors to some of the most forward-thinking people in the world. At the very core, our faculty are masters in their fields who have committed their lives to deepening the pool of human knowledge and understanding. They're more than educators, they're explorers. And they're the ones who equip us with the tools we need to tackle the challenges of the world on our own. They help us realize our capacity to think and drive us to become, each of us, a member of the extraordinary and tight-knit community that is our alumni. The community is what we carry with us what draws us together and forms the base of the rest of our lives. It has been said, I'm prepared to go anywhere, provided it be Ford. And with that, I would ask you to join me in welcoming the faculty and alumni of Wharton. You may be seated. It's graduation day! But as we know, it is not only graduation day, it is also Mother's Day. So for the moms at Wharton, for the moms on the faculty and staff, and for the moms in the audience, happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Welcome and thank you for spending your time with us today. It is so wonderful to be here to celebrate the 100th graduating class of Wharton MBAs. Today is special for many reasons. We come together to celebrate your individual and collective successes and mark an important guidepost on your educational and professional journeys. Today would not be possible without the support of a multitude of people, many of whom are here today 
to celebrate you. So without further ado, let me welcome our guests. Welcome to my Wharton faculty and staff colleagues whose unwavering support and guidance make your entire educational experience possible. Welcome to the friends, families, and loved ones gathered here to honor these soon-to-be graduates on their many accomplishments. And a huge welcome to each of you, the Wharton MBA Class of 2023. It is fortuitous that we convene here today to honor this esteemed group. Because right now, the world is in need of leaders like you who will challenge conventional ways of thinking and doing. We're living in a time of great uncertainty, and we face global challenges at a scale and level of urgency previously unseen. Many people, including the highly educated and successful, look around and see instability and ambiguity. But in my conversations with Wharton students, faculty, and alumni, I've sensed something distinctive and special in the Wharton community. When I ask members of this community how they perceive the contemporary world, they consistently say to me that they see possibility and the clear opportunity to enact positive change. In other words, Wharton people approach the world from the viewpoint that opportunities abound. But what is it that makes us so optimistic? It's not surprising that the people who are a product of this exceptional institution consistently see opportunity where others can't. That's because during your two years at Wharton, you've learned how applied business makes the improbable possible. You know that business is foundational to every facet of society. You've analyzed how business ideas can be put into action to solve challenges across healthcare, public policy, the environment, and even issues of long-standing inequity. Beyond your syllabi, you've already applied the knowledge you've gained in the classroom to pressing real-world issues, and you've taken the time to identify, hone, and practice your unique leadership skills and style. Your Wharton education has ingrained into you a holistic view of business and its potential to advance society at large. You've also lived, debated, commiserated, and rejoiced with people from all walks of life and lived experiences. So taken together, all of this has uniquely prepared you to connect dots that others see only singularly and to uncover new ideas and solutions that many wouldn't even conceive, let alone fulfill. In other words, your shared experiences confirm that opportunities abound. As you embark on the next phase of your life, you will take on new roles in your careers and personal lives that will challenge you like never before. And as you face future challenges, I urge you to maintain the level of optimism you exhibit today. I mentioned that the world needs leaders like you now more than ever. In my own experiences studying leaders and what makes them effective or not so effective, I have found that challenging times calls for specific skills that Wharton graduates are uniquely poised to embody. So as we celebrate all you have already accomplished today, I'd like to focus on the skills that the most successful leaders must master, and that I encourage you to keep in the forefront of your mind as you chart your own next chapter. The first skill is to detect signals. You're leaving Wharton not only with broad business knowledge, but with ways of knowing. The good habits of mind and thought you develop will serve you well as you navigate uncharted waters and discover that opportunities abound. Effective leaders must continuously scan their environment for cues they can interpret and make sense of. This means being alert, plugged in, and attuned to the world around you, not just the corner you inhabit. You've learned how to ask pointed questions and debate situations from every possible angle. 
I implore you, never stop being curious and asking the tough questions that can uncover the next opportunity or mitigate the next threat. The next skill is to take time to reflect and learn. Too often, we finish a big project or meet a deadline and think, whew, I am finished. And while it's true that we've completed the task at hand, a critical step remains that many fail to address, and that is reflection. Reflection adds to the length of time something takes, but this investment is far less than what it would take to tackle a similar issue if one doesn't fully learn from it. Taking time to pause and reflect on our experiences is what will best prepare us for what is certain to come, and that is change. I encourage you to stop and ask yourself, what did I learn? You'll find that educational opportunities abound in every new experience. And finally, the last skill is to make ideas real. Creativity is a critical leadership skill, and opportunities abound from ingenuity. There is certainly no shortage of great ideas stemming from the Wharton MBA community, but I encourage you to move beyond dreaming and into doing. Being willing to tackle risks and do something bold, even if you aren't 100% confident in the outcome? Our own MBA admissions team turned the once improbable idea of gender parity within a top-tier MBA program into a reality. You are the first of any top-tier MBA class to experience business school through the lens of gender parity, and you are better prepared for success after business school as a result. You are now... You are now part of the largest business school alumni community on the planet. Take, yes, give it up for that too. Take the knowledge you've gained at Wharton and the network that supports you and go and make your ideas a reality. As you leave Wharton and commence the new adventures that lie ahead, I challenge you to lead with intellect and intentionality. I encourage you to focus on the greater good that exists all around you, and I implore you to never lose the energy to blaze new trails and the confidence to do what's never been done before. Because intrinsically, you know that opportunities abound. So congratulations to the class of 2023. May you continue to uncover possibilities and find success in all that you do. And now, it is my distinct pleasure to introduce your graduation day speaker, Tashanda Brown Duckett. <laughs> Tashanda is president and CEO of TIAA. She leads a company whose mission is defined by financial inclusion and opportunity for all Americans savings, for all Americans saving for retirement. TIAA is a long-standing partner of the Wharton School and generously supports both the Pension Research Council and the ESG Initiative. Before joining TIAA in 2021, Tashanda held several key executive roles at J.P. Morgan Chase. Her leadership extends far beyond the financial services industry, though. She serves on the boards of Nike, the National Medal of Honor Museum, the Economic Club of New York, and many others. She is also an appointee to the President's Board of Advisors on HBCUs and a member of the Business Roundtable. Tashanda has been widely recognized as one of the most powerful and influential women in business and finance. So please join me in welcoming your speaker, Tashanda Brown Duckett. Thank you so much, Dean James, and thank you to the entire Wharton community for your warm welcome. I am absolutely humbled to be speaking to all of you on this day during this important moment in your lives. Today, we celebrate all of you. 
the 100th class to graduate from the Wharton MBA program. Your achievement is such a wonderful Mother's Day gift for your supporters, who include so many moms, grandmothers, aunties, and all of the other loved ones who have mothered you. So let's take another moment to show them how much we absolutely appreciate their being here today and in spirit, always lifting you up. Now, I know that you all have heard many speeches that gave you tips on the future. And yes, I will give you some of those today as well. But what I really want to share with you first this afternoon is this. I learned everything I needed to know to be a CEO when I was young. From the earliest stages of childhood, the people who raised and loved me, and you were helping to shape the core components of our character, the essentials, the basics. And what I know today as a leader is that I rent my title. I own my character. So let's break that down. What does it mean to rent? And what does it mean to own? And what do I mean by character? The simplest definition of renting is when something is made available for your use in return for payment. There is usually an agreement that makes the terms clear. The thing that you rent is not yours forever. At some point, you have to give it back, like an apartment. It can even be taken from you if you don't meet the conditions of the agreement. Dean James introduced me as to Shonda Brown Duckett, President and CEO of TIAA. But yes, that amazing title is rented. It describes me, but it does not define me. Yes, I earned it, but I don't own it. To own something feels entirely different. When you own something, it belongs to you. You can claim it and proclaim it. It is forever yours. And when I think about the most precious thing I own, the thing that is mine, the thing that no one can take away from me, it is my character. And it was awakened in my childhood. You see, character, Character is what defines you, your attributes, your qualities, and the things that distinguish you as an, as an individual. You see, my character shows in the way that I live my life, the way that I lead, the way that I treat others, what I expect of myself. It is also giving myself and yourself grace. The thing about defining character is that it's messy too. It's not always perfect or your finest hour. There are moments of failure and your character shows in how you own your mess. You're building the muscle to handle it. My character is who I am. It drives my purpose, which I firmly believe is to inspire and make impact. It's my ownable asset. There are countless people in your life who have made it possible for you to be here. They have done their best, even when their best was not always sufficient. It was their best. So you are shaped by your experiences with them. When I think about my own journey as a high school student athlete, as a double major in marketing and finance at the University of Houston, working my way at Fannie Mae, also earning my MBA from Baylor at the same time. No matter where I have been or who I'm with, the essence of who I am has always been inside me. One of the reasons I share my journey is that I want leaders who are early in their careers, like many of you, 
to see me and know that you can be your unapologetic, authentic self and become a Fortune 100 CEO. I want all of you to know that my journey would have been very different if not for a woman named Valerie Manning, an HR recruiter who had one intern position to fill at Fannie Mae. She found that intern, and it wasn't me. But when she went back to Fannie Mae, for some reason, she advocated for me when I didn't even know what advocacy truly meant. And she said these life-changing words, but there's this other girl. I was the other girl she went out of her way to support. And that internship turned into a full-time offer right out of college. And from there to J.P. Morgan Chase and now TIAA. You see, that internship sparked a passion for helping everyone improve their financial security. A passion that I was able to not just discover, but to amplify because a woman chose to lean on her character and change my life forever. So you see, you two have all that you need to succeed inside of you, and you always have. You're also part of an amazing class, not just the century class, but as Dean James said, the first class in Wharton history to achieve gender parity. Wow! You know, I say publicly that I stand on the shoulders of giants. It was the cooks, the janitors, and the secretaries that introduced my race and my melanin and my gender to corporate America. It's also the shoulders that I stand by people named Otis and Rosie Brown, my parents, my grandmother, Naomi Levert, my daughter, Madison, my son, Miles, my daughter, Mackenzie, my bonus son, Brendan. Yes, the list goes on and on. There are fearless women who have inspired me like Shirley Chisholm, Sadie T.M. Alexander, Sheila Johnson, Marsha Fudge, Venus and Serena Williams, and all the unsung women that I get to meet every single day. And yes, all of you who are moments away from being Wharton alums, stand on the shoulders of some truly remarkable trailblazers. Roz Brewer of Boots Walgreens, the one other black woman CEO currently leading a Fortune 500 company. Sundar Pichai, who heads up Alphabet and Google. Alfred Liggins, the longtime leader of Urban One Empire. And John Scully, former CEO of both Pepsi and Apple. Now, I'll stop there, but of course, the list is even longer than that. And that includes so many people that are not household names. That may feel like quite a legacy to live up to. So give yourself grace. Some of you, may not have been able to picture yourself standing here right now at this moment. Some of you couldn't even conceive this vision on your vision board. In those moments when you have self-doubt, when you experience those mental gymnastics of being the only in the room and wondering if you should share what you think, or the feelings of inadequacy when you want to put your hand up for a new role, but worry that you don't check every qualification in the box. Don't waste time debating why your journey was so tough when someone else's seemed easy. As my father Otis Brown says, people see your glory, but they don't know your story. So make sure that you go for it fully. My father would also tell me to reach for the moon and you're talking about a man who grew up in the segregated South, who did not attend college, who worked in a warehouse. He told me to reach for the moon because even if I missed, I would be among the stars. Today, I am among the stars. The vision, the vision for a man like Otis Brown raising a daughter who is first generation full integration, had the audacity to dream with my mother 
and here I stand. So the journey you are on is where your confidence lies. So remember the energy and the grit and the perseverance that got you to this day. You have also learned empathy for yourself and for others. Always, and I mean always, go back to the moments that shaped your character and come back to this moment today. You are enough. And you know what? You always were. You belong. And you know what? You always did. And your defining moment is not where you are right now. The real accomplishment isn't that you're graduating today at Wharton MBA, although let's be clear, this is a major brag, but the real accomplishment is your student journey here and how it accelerated the rich development of your character. So take a few moments to ask yourself, where does your ownership lie? What have you really learned? What have you understood from the day you arrived and now from the day that you leave? How will you impact business? How will you impact others? You know, when you know more, you can do more. And you all know a lot more now. When you understand more, you can pivot easily and with agility and lean into your intellectual curiosity. Continue to let your intention be built on character and history will remember you kindly. My purpose is filled by my own ownable asset, my character. Character is what drives it all. As you re-enter the workplace, remember that you can commit to purpose and character in any job. That's what's going to get you up in the morning and keep you fired up to make impact and distinguish yourself. The lessons were culminating in you all along. It's character that will ensure that you, as Wharton alums, don't stop at being the first class to achieve gender parity. You'll go on to close other gaps because we have a lot more gaps to close in this country and around the world. Think about how you can influence corporate America to incorporate an expansive view that can truly position our country for growth, acceleration, and inclusive impact. 10%, 10% of Fortune 500 CEOs are women. Let's work on gender parity there too. I am, I am one of only two black women CEOs leading a Fortune 500. And there have ever been only three full-time CEOs. So yes, there's a lot more good trouble to get into. And it starts with character. So, so as I prepare to leave you today, let me offer one last point. You have seen in business school that experience is your greatest teacher. But my hope is that you will remember to tap into it and deposit it back into yourself as part of growing and developing your character. The semester-long group projects helped you understand how to quickly optimize the energy you brought to the table. The late night studying tapped into your resilience Collaborating in classes with people who are different from you provided you with experience making connections that balance your worldview and opinions about difference. The vigorous debates with classmates or professors helped you further develop the muscle to defend your thoughts. The question, the question as you go forth is how will this moment fuel your next level of character? Yes, there's levels to this. Your job titles will come and go, and they are sure to be quite impressive as you advance in your own trajectory. But they are rented. You don't own them. They will fall away and be passed on to someone else. But what will remain true is the story that is told about you. It's always going to come back to the difference you made, the lives you impacted, and the people you inspired. 
that's always going to be driven by your ownable asset, your character, the essence of who you are. So always know that you are enough and more than a conqueror. It is an absolute privilege to be speaking to you all today. Congratulations, Wharton MBA Class of 2023. Thank you. We rent our title and own our character. That's going to stick with me for a long, long time. I am very excited to introduce our next speaker, your classmate and class of 2023 graduate, Santiago Naranjo. Santiago graduated from the University of Virginia and started his career in human resources at Capital One with the goal of advancing diversity, equity, and inclusion in the private sector. At Wharton, he double majored in strategic management and marketing and operations management. Outside of the classroom, Santiago continued his commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion through his extracurriculars. He is also a proud and active member of Out for Business and for the, of the Wharton Hispanic MBA Association. Santiago served as an executive board member of both Wharton Graduate, One Gen Club, and Common Sense. He was a project leader for the Dean's MBA Advisory Council and an admissions fellow. Please join me in welcoming Santiago to the stage. Hello, everyone. Today is a celebration of the culmination of years of hard work. To get here, we studied hard in undergrad and stayed late in the office in our pre-MBA careers. We then dedicated countless hours to prepping for the GMAT and researching MBA programs. Another key part of our MBA journey was writing admissions essays. The Wharton admissions team asked us two seemingly simple questions. First, what do you hope to gain from the Wharton MBA? Second, how do you plan to make specific, meaningful contributions to the Wharton community? I'd argue that these questions, slightly modified, serve as a valuable compass for us as we embark on our post-MBA journeys. We've all thought long and hard about that first question, what do we hope to gain from our first few years after business school? After all, we spent weeks, if not months, choosing from a diverse set of possible career paths, including finance, consulting, and maybe even tech. But most of us, myself included, likely haven't spent nearly as much time answering that second question. How do we plan to make meaningful contributions to our communities? This is an important question that warrants care and attention, just like the first. This is because, as Wharton alumni and emerging business leaders, we benefit from immense privilege. Now, don't get me wrong, everyone in this room has worked extremely hard to get to this point. Having said that, in addition to having a world-class business education, we now also benefit from an incredible amount of access and resources. And as a result, I believe we have an opportunity to use these privileges to affect positive change in the world around us. I'll acknowledge it can be very difficult to prioritize giving back, and there are many legitimate obstacles that may stand in our way of doing so. However, like any good business student and soon-to-be consultant, I have a framework that will hopefully help. The three Bs. First, be confident. For years, fear and imposter syndrome made me doubt and undersell myself. But thanks to some good old stretch experiences, this speech included, I've become much more confident in who I am and what I can do. 
everyone graduating today has more than earned their seat at the table. Because of that, I urge us to take risks that challenge the status quo, to stand up when we see or hear something that isn't right. I urge us to make our voices heard. We owe it to ourselves and to those around us. Second, be grateful. Personally, I'm incredibly grateful for my parents. They left Colombia to come to the United States in pursuit of a better life. Today, because of them, I'm graduating from one of the best business schools in the world. <laughs> Mami, papi, lo hicimos. Mom and dad, we did it. Take a moment right now to think of all the people who helped you get to where you are today. The former bosses and mentors, the Wharton administrators and faculty members. Think of your friends and family, your classmates and partners. How might you show gratitude to all those who have supported you over the years? Lastly, be kind. Being kind is simple and comes at no cost. And yet I believe it is one of the most meaningful things we can do for those around us. I have found kindness within the Latinx, LGBTQ+, and first-gen low-income communities at Wharton. After graduation, I plan to pay it forward to these and many other communities. I encourage you all to think about the groups you belong to and the groups you can be an ally to. Ask yourself how you'll contribute to both. As I wrap up, I hope you'll take these three Bs. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me. Be grateful, be kind, and be confident. And reflect on the many ways in which you can give back to those around us. Know that in addition to celebrating your many future career successes, I also look forward to hearing about all the good you do in the world. Thank you, and congratulations to the Wharton MBA class of 2023. Thank you, Santiago, for your beautiful words. Happy Mother's Day, and hello family, friends, esteemed faculty and administrators, and the incredible class of 2023. My name is Ariana Chang, and I am so proud to have served this past year as the president of the Wharton Graduate Association. It has been an honor to represent this historic class, the first class at Wharton to be a majority female. This experience together has been a gift. We entered Wharton in the summer of 2021. Like many of you, I had spent the past two years sitting at home, clicking at my computer, staring at Excel, feeling lost, like my life was on pause. And then we came to Wharton, and it was like being shot out of a cannon. From the first moment of meeting folks at Morgan's Pier, to all those late nights at Drinkers, to Red and Blue, Magic, Columbia, recruiting, ski trip, follies, let's rides, classes, clubs, fight night, centennial beach week. Somehow we blinked, and it's all done and it's been a stretch, and it's been exceptional. Wharton, each of you has pulled me out of that place of apathy I felt two years ago. Learning from your amazing backgrounds, working with you on projects, traveling the world, experiencing your can-do attitudes, becoming your friend, 
has reignited my passion, not just for my career, but for life itself. And through these experiences, through your generosity, you have given each other and myself the real gift of Wharton, a community, a family, home. I am leaving a better, more thoughtful person because of the kindness and sense of belonging that you all have given me. Bees, yes bees, have a remarkable way of not just finding home, but creating home wherever they go. So, as we fly off to all different parts of the world, be grateful for the home we have created together with the people in this room. And make sure, wherever you might go next, to take the excitement coming out of school and give back. Create that sense of belonging. Create that magical feeling of home for others, as you have done here at Wharton for myself and our classmates. Thank you to my parents, Nadine and David, who have been so supportive and given me every opportunity possible. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. <laughs> Thank you to Kyle Rodriguez, Dia Bajaj, and Kip Werner, who have given their heart, sweat, and souls to the WGA this year, and who are the greatest people I could have possibly worked with. I am so lucky to have spent this adventure of a year with each of you. And finally, congratulations and thank you to each and every single member of the class of 2023 for what has amounted to the best two years of my life thus far. Here's to the brightest of futures, and here's to us. It is now my pleasure to introduce the Vice Dean of the MBA program, uh, Nikolai Sigelko. Dear class of 2023, congratulations, you've made it. Uh, dear parents and partners, uh, as many of my former speakers said, it takes a village, uh, so congratulations to you as well. Since everyone is offering you some nuggets of wisdom today, and you're supposed to remember them all, uh, I will simply focus on two points. And uh, when we see each other in five years at your first reunion, I will call call you and make sure you remember those two points. Uh, in making these points, I will leverage what I'm most known for as a professor, my expertise and strategy, and my keen sense of humor, and I will let you decide when I use what. Um, point number one. In your upcoming careers, whenever you engage in an action, please ask yourself, does this action create value, or does this action merely shift value? What makes the term value creation sometimes confusing is that when someone asks you to create value for shareholders, what they're really asking you to do is to appropriate value for shareholders, and that obviously is completely legitimate. But we should be very clear in our minds that there are two very different ways in which to appropriate value. One way to appropriate value is by shifting value away from some other party, and now the value is in my pocket and not in your pocket. The second way to appropriate value is by first creating more value, and if there is more value to go around, some value ends up in my pocket and some value ends up also in your pocket. It's really my strong belief that many more good things will happen when you focus in your business affairs on value creation, not just on value shifting. Continuing with point number two, and also continuing with a theme that you've heard, I think, before. I call it, don't forget to count your blessings. Sometimes we can get really bogged down by a small annoyance and completely lose sight of the great situation we are in. 
and, we, and then we don't value what we have. So let me tell you a little story. Um, a few weeks ago, when many of you were at Beach Week, uh, I was actually driving around Lancaster County. And uh, as I was traveling down the small country lane, I came by this big old house with a barn. And there was a sign right at the roadside, talking dog for sale, $20. Now, you can imagine, I was quite intrigued, so I stopped, I walked up to the door, rang the bell, and an elderly gentleman opened the door. I asked, excuse me, sir, but I just saw that sign out there, and I'm really intrigued. Is the dog still available? Oh, you want to see the dog? Oh, just walk around the house. He's probably lying in the backyard. So I walked around the house, and lo and behold, there was a big brown basset hound lying in the yard. I felt a little bit silly, but I still asked the dog, you really can talk? Of course I can talk. OK, you can imagine. Right? I was quite stunned. Wow, that is so amazing. No, that's not so amazing. What is amazing is that for the last 10 years, I was a top secret spy for the CIA. What? Well, no one expects a dog to be able to understand. So I was part of many important missions. I infiltrated many gangs, listened to what was going on, and then I reported back. Now, as you can imagine, I was quite astounded by all of this, so I walked back around the house, rang the bell again, and the gentleman appeared. I said, this dog is amazing, but I still have one question. Why do you only ask $20 for this dog? Oh, did he tell you that he was a spy? Yes. Oh, he's an inveterate liar. He has never left this backyard in all of his life. Who would want a dog like that? <laughs> Now's the time for you to laugh. So please don't get hung up right, on some small detail and lose sight of the bigger picture and awareness of what you have. Count your blessings. We certainly all have been blessed to be able to spend some time at this great university and this great business school and to become a member of the Wharton community. You will always be part of Wharton, and Wharton will always be part of you. So if there are challenges now ahead of you, you now get to tackle them as part of this community. So let me conclude with one of my favorite sayings. Um, success is when smart planning, hard work, and good luck meet opportunity. Wharton hopefully provided you with the tools to do this smart planning. I know that you can work really hard. So all I'm left with is wishing you all the good luck to meet that opportunity to go out there, to be successful, and create a lot of value. All the best to you. So it is now my great pleasure to announce the Palmer Scholars for the class of 2023. Uh, these students consistently performed at the highest level with an academic performance that placed in the top 5% of the class. So please join me in congratulating these students on their outstanding achievement. I would ask each of the scholars uh, to rise and remain standing when I call their names. Nida Ansari. Jordan Baker. Tara Balakrishnan, <laughs> Naomi Chetrit Band, Brendan Michael Ball, Manraj Singh Bevly, Sydney Bob, Upasna Chakravarti, Griffin Cooper, Luke Dinges, Megan Emery, Spencer Frisky. Kaviya Gurikipati, Sonal Goyal, Avishi Gupta, Brian Hall, Jeremy Hardy, James Hoagland, Galilea Husseini, Karan Kabashi, Taka Kinosita, Andrew Koff, Martin Larson. Brenda Lee, Enrique Marquez Moran, Diff Mera, William Meyer, Kutai Muslu, Maggie Pan, Kate Podzorova, Dempsey James Michael Prapas, Lucas Prioli, Megana Puri, Anya Ranganathan, 
Ben Zaltzman, Emma Schmidt, Oliver Schreiner, Shloka Sharan, Lindsay Shepard, Joseph Shin, Nicholas Sabliris, Brian Willis, Jessica Yellen, and Jenny Yu. Congratulations to our Palmer Scholars of the Class of 2023. Thank you. You may be seated, seated now again. Uh, each year, academic departments and the second year class recognize students who have excelled in the classroom and those who have made an impact on the community during their two years at Wharton. Uh, I will call your attention now to the screens above as we honor the recipients of these awards for the class of 2023. Our student award winners, please stand up so we can recognize you for your accomplishments. All right, dear MBA class 2023, the time has come for you to be recognized as graduates of the oldest and, you know, Santiago was very modest, I will call it the best business school in the world. Thank you.
Ariana Chang. Kyle Rodriguez. Dea Susanna Bajai. Kip Werner. Mary Akonami Joseph. Ravina Carr. Santiago Naranjo. Stephen Ahn. Weiwei B. Garuth Archaya. Abdullah Albadi Adahari. Lindsay Albano. Rehan Ertan. Tara Balakrishnan. Roman Alexander Balan. Ubi Barawaj. Scott Berger. Bodhi Baradwaj. Sorry, Bhattacharya. Nicole Serwa Bonsu. Taylor Alana Branch. Erica Nakamatsu Biyun. Kuting Sen. Christopher Chen. Junhan Chen. Clea Chen. Varun Desai. Courtney Elliott. Joan Fleischman. Paolo Fornesini. Jill Frank. Manuel Gallardo. Whitney Gao. Naomi Hanna Garlic. Rhea Grover. Brian Christopher Hall. Kay Hayakawa. Chris Hong. Sylvia Maria Yanku. Ahmed Ibrahim. Katya Marina Johns. Albert Katz. Leo Kensisher. Ricky Kuo. Wen Lee. Emily Bridget Liu. Shindy Shai Liu. Gianna Rafino Maceda. Jeffrey Han Yagmar, Magyar. Priscilla Mogaka. Ujual Murarka. Rachel J. Newman. Ivy Olivia Damba Nakabange. Geneve Ong. Chetan Panda. <laughs> Rohan Passe. Andrew Pang. Kevin Thomas Peters. Nan Chin. Julia Lee Ryan. Carmony Sampath. 
Manusi Paravar. John Francis Shea III. Shashanak Singh. Samantha Sukjit Suhal. Jarell Spears. Catherine Elizabeth Stanton. Nazar Tafor. Mackenzie Elizabeth Tassi. Artem Vasilkovsky. Grace Adair Weisiger. Natalie Spencer, Spencer Weiss. Alexander West. Harry Sue. Sai Akil Yeluru. Dan Zhang. Lakshaya Agarwal. Jonathan Aaron. Lydia Marie Anglin. Christian Xavier Anthony. Fernando Aranciava. Sid Awazi. Vishoka Balasubmaranian. Topher Bates. Morgan Gray Bentley. Hallie Best. Marcin Birdsey. Ritvik Chauhan. Munju Michelle Cho. Alejandra Queen Miranda. Chonis Davis. <laughs> Tiffany Antoinette Davis. Rotimi Fadia. Tyler Feldman. Philip Claudie Fleischman. Nadia Florman. Dennis Gassimli. Asher Goldman. Kunvi Goyal. Samir Gupta. Olivia Cecilia Hamill. Andrea Hasday. Merrill Hollander. Galileo Hussini. Shittis Jane. Peter Jin. David Kleismeyer. Joshua Klein. Jin Young Kevin Lee. David Lampert Echeverry. Lillian Leon. Rhea Kitai Lipson. Cece Leo. Doris Luo. Andrew Wongo. Wilson Ma. Charu Mahashwari. Grant Malalu. Shrey Malapeni. Samyi Nasim. Kit Win. Naz Chala Ozen Clark. Kate Patterson. Lucas Crioli. Jasmine Valeria Pritchard. 
Richard Quirk. Joseph Roman Rao. Julia Rioto Berbo. Matthew Joseph Romano. Monique Ariel Sager. Manu Sahai. Maria de Lourdes Salazar. Benjamin J. Salzman. Misty Shah. Krishna Shah. Nicholas Shelley. Chandra Mani Shukla. Ananya Ping Sujit Janupab. Nader Sharif Imani. Yuri Sumijura. Anmol Verma. Shirley Xu Chintong. Sheng Xu. Ai Yamakami. Josie Ye. Jasmine Jang. Jenny Weiqing Jang. Sasha Jang. Angela Elizabeth Zaccardi. Amanda Mead. Neil Garish Anmonker. Adele Astrup Shudi. Yara Azuni. Lola Basabi Valor. Kendall Ann Bedford. Brendan Michael Bell. Snigda Bandari. Upsana Chakravarti. Emily K. Chen. Eileen Chang. Anthony Chu. Sophia Jules Denson. Sabranshu Deer. Felipe Alfonso Dominguez. Joshua L. Bay. Akil Ismail. L. Galt. Francesca P Patrice Gencarella. David Jonathan Gertner. Emily Gowell. Matthew Greskoff. Avashi Gupta. Tarang Gupta. Wan Li Hu. Zadi Imosili. Jacqueline Kawas. Prankar Kandawal. Jihei Kim Goddard. Raina Yijin Kim. Sean Gunaratna Kim. Grace Yoon Ko. Jack Lazarus. Peggy Lee. Cecilia Leon. Albert Lowe. Jane Francis McGuire. Suchi Mahashwari. Mohammed Mamadov. 
Matthew Spencer Markham. Abigail Markowitz. Nicholas Hughes Martin. Bryce Mesavisu. Elliot Ng. Anya Nikolova. Zachary Powers. Megana Puri. Cash Rajagopal. Alexander Lon Wendell Robinson. Lindsay Shepherd. Nadithi Singh. Chelsea So. Aditi Srinivas. Joshua Eric Tartel. Baraki Tadel Tay. Robert Templeton. Hugo Uchukwu Udiego. David Allen Warrington II. Blake Alexander West. Brinton Keith Williams. Eric Winter. Judson Dale Woods. Jessica Isakoff Yellen. Alex Yu. Maggie Yuan. Jasmine Jinan Zhang. Leon Wu. Christelle Melissa Cabron. Oluwa Consiola Adesoye. Samruda Sanjay Banga. Carolyn Alexander Benwell. Jessica Burstein. Nitya Anapurna Bangavatula. Spandana Bhattacharya. Milina Vlasedi. Rihanna Chakraborty. Dayin Chen. Amelia Masters Cohen. Brendan Cronshaw. Robert James Decker. Denise Demirsi. Shangwu Du. Lindy Furstenberg. Monica Garcia. Arthur Reardon Gosnell. Niha Gotapati. Sonal Goyal. Jennifer Guo. Sashi Krishna Gupta. Jeremy Hardy. Evan Richard Harkins. Harrison, Harrison Hesham Hart. Juan Heredia. Margaret Hoffman. Luke Hoffman. Scott Shu. Andrew Jensen. 
Karan Paresh Kapashi. Vijit Kapoor. Ankit Kohli. Elisa Rakewal Kurzban. David Andrew Little. Seiji Liu. Bruno Lulinski. Gigzio Liu. Marcello Luzzati Otero. Nixon Kibotric Mawa. Sitas Nepal. Lee Ojesina. Lionel Okono. Akshat Patel. Caleb Trimble Peterson. Kunal Falak. Saranya Kriti Raganathan. Nafisa Raji. Enrique Rosado Sartori. Krista Maria Spasova Ruseva. Sharanya Sahe. Shri Vardan Saraf. Sheila Sitaraman. Mina So. Devon Schiff. Sean Singh Soda. Claire Shu. Mila Sudrekova. Adekor Tewo. Gianni Tian. Javier Torres Kiras. Anosh Jaldat Wahid. Matthew John Walsh. Johnny Wan. Brian Patrick Willis. Amy Xiu Shi Yang. Amy Yi. Sharon Rudong Shao. Yufei Zheng. Dylan Patel. David Charles Abarbanel. Philip John Aboud. Banu Agarwal. Jessica Ajoku. Mike Akoli. Eduardo Alvarez Rivila. Ciara Alvarez. Anna Elizabeth Barnes. David Jordan Burke. Sydney Bubb. Mario Cardenas. Amy Chen. Emily Lee Chen. Caitlin Mary Cheney. Georgina Bywater Coleman. 
Elon Fate Cornelius. Meghna Dasgupta. Mihan Do. Leland Benjamin Garahan. Afreen Gori. Javier Gonzalez. Charlotte Green. Yating Guan. Arnav Gupta. Ina Alitya Alilu. Jasmine Nicole Howell. Angela Wong. Peter Joseph Hukau. David Schwab Genrio. Taka Kinoshita. Adam Lawal. Tony Lee. Danny Lee. Forrest Lynn. Katrin McGee. Azi Makarova. Zaid Wada Malhi. Shalin Mandawara. Delphina Charlotte Matern. Mehul Mohagaongar. Kute Fatih Muslu. Remington Mir. Kevin Guan. Nuyen. Matteo Mena. Ellen Shin Paik. Aradana Parik. Edner Paul. Mariana Pavia. Gulmira Proper. Jesodara Raj. Catherine Rakao. Ishwa Prasad Ramalingam. Turner Rapp. Aristide Selimistos. Daniel Mitsia Serrano. Sadvik Shantaran Shiri. Gori Singal. Shriya Tana. Michael Philip Thomas. William Stephen Thomas. Camille Elizabeth Prinsgrad. David Michael Trott. Roy Wong. Fio Shui Yi Win. Sha Sha. Alison Chu. Xiao. Xiaoyu Zhu. 
Julie Shu. Kate Potarova. Sam Amankwa. Arushi Arora. Miriam Badi. Marjorie Baker. Denise Biscaro. Troy Emmanuel Bullock Jr. Samar Chandel. Rowan Manish Chandra. Kelly Keir Chen. Tom Detliff. Sophia Dong. Madeline Donner. Megan Cook Hemery. Mary Grace Ermitano. Spencer Frisky. Alejandro Gomez Serrano Olavarieta. Angad Guglani. Kent Amlin. Cohen Harris. Juan Eduardo Hernandez Sanchez. William Chase Hodge Brockenberg. Matthew Clark Jewett. Shannon Julian. Brent Kelly. Carrie Max Kraus. Ivan Kotnetsdorf. Julia Liu. Rebecca Yating Liu. Jordi Locanata. George Dewey Lyle III. Stephanie Michael Silva. Andy Xavier Mitchell. Priyanka Mittal. Tehei Mitsu Mitsuhoki Ochi. Payal Nikhil Modi. Danilo Morena Simo. Jenny Lan Mu. David Mui. Christine O'Hara. Arinze Oyanesi. Margaret Jungui Pan. Rohan Kalpesh Parik. Stephanie Soyong Park.
Maya Padar. Dempsey James Michael Prepas. Gusto Preston. David Prieto. Jonathan Carey Hun. Ishika Rajan. Andre Rodriguez Ferreira. Ashley Marie Chanel. Michael Frederick Schmidt. Oliver Wald Trainer. Blair Kristen Saylor. Nina Seth. Angela Sheen. Anna Murte Sherman. Marinalini Shukla. David Marshall Spiritus. Mia Gabriel Steck. Andrew James Stewart. Robert Sullivan. Michael Chuk Hei To. Jayadi Verma. Pisasha Watanake. Edward Zideng. Spencer Jaffe. Alexandra Rodriguez. Tanya Agarwal. Nikita Agarwal. Julianne Aquari. Rayed. Abdulabaz Shamakek. Abik Alam. Landon Gray Baker. Naomi Shetrit Baker. Henry Barry. Bailey Barrow. Hakon Brecky. Jess Brock, Gavin Hamilton Buck, Joaquin Campos, Ava Chang, Shubham Chatterjee, Ashwith Chenapin, Lillian Chung, Jatek Chatterjee. Griffin Cooper. Kathleen Paiva De Silva. Mariama Elga Dilo. Luke Austin Dingus. Arlise Ablohe. Jennifer Marie Foulon. Frederick Seller Frank. Kavya Gurikapati. Naomi Goas. Eleanor Goldsboro. Sahil Swarup Gupta. Sarah Nasher Hamaseger. 
Esther Yua Han, Joseph Han, Ashwarya Haida, Matthew Hennessy, Yang Mei Hu, Chelsea Tianlei Wang, Nihali Jane, Edward Jing, Nicholas Kozlov, Brenda Lee, Moore Levine, Tom Luong, Ankitha Mandava, Daniel Elliott Stork Mansouri, Christina Marin Malero, Ellie McDonald, Grace Summers Mooney, Timothy Beaumont Parker, Samir Patel, Chad Payne, Arjun Rajma Rajmaran, Natasha Sathyan Ramanujam, Alejandro Isaac Safdi, Deva Saxena, Dempsey J. Simonis. Martina Yinong Song. Oliver Ames Spalding Jr. Katie Stewart. Georgia Eleni Steely Anidis. Toluase Olulapo. Clement Mensa Oki, Devang Chasnawal, Alex True, Elizabeth Walvogel, Emily Ting Wang, Jeffrey Wang. Laura Elizabeth Wellborn. Andrew Wu. Shuan Shu. Anya Zelenska. Sebastian Sotelo. Evan Adamo. Jonathan Paul Edelman, Shubi Agarwal, John Joseph Akpan, Nita Ansari, Michelle Ball, Swan Bao, Jose Barroicos. Sean Bala, Jennifer Bloomer, Abigail Bach, Connor Brown, Justin Chen, Alexandra Cohen, Gaia. Kumaraswamy, Ibsen Cochino, Jenna Czech, Danielle Devine, Mary Gail Debuono, 
Marisa Rose Epstein. Luisa Angari Ferreira. Grace Ann Gelman. Pooja Gorai. Vyabhav Grover. Rachel Habib. Masood Haq. Teo Im. Kyle Ismael. Caroline Nicole Jones. Shri Katrivan. Elaine Bryce Kazi. Justin Derek Lee Kelly. Ruhani Kahana. Artem Kofanov. Ari Manuel Gatchet Quanjo. Martin Larson. Leah Lin. Vikram Mushru. Jordan Mays. William Keith Meyer. Masaki Nakamura. Diyun Ni. Agibola Alaniyane. Lillian Orlan Prince. Matthew Orozco. Tori Lynette Orr. Samuel Adniyi Uyimadi. Matthew Paragamian. Mika Park. Dana Akemi Sakata. Ismael Sangare. Akasha Sawar. Marissa Sawicki. Ava Yi Wen Shi. Radhakar Srinivasan. Marcus Stevenson. Himanshi Swarkar. Shu Tao. Mayasari Jasmine Teeman. Lee Utisea Pangsa. Graham George Vahovic. Michael Vincent Webb. Sushmithra Reddy Yerubafulu. Eric Yin. Sam Young. Zoe Shu Young Zane. Fan Chen Zhou. Ashley T. Knight. Harold Bryce Maunau Aglono. Jordan Baker. Adrielle Barrett Johnson. Mintai Wang Batisa. Manraj Singh Bevly. 
Tammy Borges Costa. Marcus Edward Bradford. Alejandra Castaño. Sukrit Chada. Wendy Chang. Radhika Deb Roy. Josh Fun. Sheila Garcia. Mehul Gar. Dana Ann Green. Matthew Stewart Griffith. Nicolette Renee Gruen. Rita Hassan. Kelsey Bear Hayes. Luis Issa. Courtney Jacobson. Wen Yu Jin. Yusuf G. Khalad. Anthony Karayuki. Rafiat Kasumu. Yuta Kato. Avanti Kavi. Kevin Key. Anna Sue Kimball. Kushali Kothari. Sujna Kimbani. Erica Alicia Lawrence. Oscar Rene Leandro Pacheco. Rana Mohammed Madkar. Manvitha Malela. Enrique Marquez Moran. Sierra Martin. Amr Mashala. Divij Mera. Anne Elizabeth Morgan. Gregory Muir. Peter Mullen. Keenan O'Brien. Kayinde Odisote. Alonzo Alachea Velasco. Sharon Ann Pang. Claire Elizabeth Peasley. Nicholas Taylor Perkins. Alex Petrescu. Sarah Berliner Powers. Ariana Rahm. Sebastian Earl of Spelling Reed. Feifei Wren. J. Brandon Rollins. Eugene Salansky. Stephanie Rodriguez Sandoval. Matthew Shea. Varun Srivastav. Anthony Stead. Kutong Tang. Shelley Tang. Brian Toth. Inez Valenzuela. Shang Wang. Travis White. Kellen Wilkins. Shannon Wong. 
Taylor Ann Worthy. Yi e. Zhang. George Masanori Iwaoka. Jasmine Jones. Nayan Batter. Rishi Kesh Bagodria. Tempris Barrett. Derek Bailey. Nicole Bleeker. Veronique Stella Bourassa. Winfield Joel Brown. Daniel Webster Callahan. Leah Cho. Austin Cox. Madeline Chede. Cristobal D. Atusha. Eric Jacob Dauber. Alexander Franklin Eckstein. Lisa Friedman. Stephen Friedner. Linda Fu. Gavin Perron Fuller. Alfred Garvey. Christopher Gadban. Alexa Garis. David Anthony Greer. Mert Gergen. Preeta Haight. Scott Burton Holmes. Shuba Jane. Jan Jaro. Jesse John. Tanatsa Kambunga. Francis Kim. Andrew John King. Andrew Koff. Joe Kwon. Moshe Emilio Levy. Kay Sien Lee. Catherine Janine Levy. Judd Liebman. Catherine Lugran. Anna Marchekonva. Shuanye Miao. Leslie Montag. Natasha Nurdiani Nurjardin. Megana Reddy Panala. Aman Parik. 
Ivana Perlstein. Ruth Perez. Arushi Pratap. Anshika Priyadarshi. Andre Felipe Ramirez. Sindura Ravi Chandran. Kendians Elaine Riddick. Brian William Romake. Elisa Rothstein. Dolapo Salawu. Sudarshan Saravi. Matteo Sassi Murjika. Shloka Sharan. David Harrison Simmons. Aileen Tam. Michael Temple. Poppy Tian. Jaya Todi. Nicholas George Tsavliris. Katrina Wong. Nicholas Wayne. Armini Shu. Sujit Yankanaik. Ellen Young. Alex Terry Zhang. Tiffany Zhang. Li Zhu. Bowen Wang. Gunjan Agrawal. Ashin Alawami. Mahmoud Al Jaroudi. Olaotan Awoyomi. Ian Bain. Nikita Bakru. Nolan Baker. Samuel Bennett. Piyush Bandari. Christopher McKinley Breen. Jay-Z Michelle Brown. Thomas Danielle Cahill. Nancy Chen. Wang An Nguyen Dang. Willie Davis III. Camille Duray. Hunter Dong. Knox Gaynor.
Lauren Gardenier. Curtis Garner. Shivangi Guerra. Thomas James Gill. Jeffrey Alexander Green. James Ogland. Yiming Hu. Karim Ryan Itani. Timothy Samuel Jacob. Blake Jones. Vandita Kamath. Courtney Kellen. Ryan Paul Key. Jihoon Kim. Yon Gyeong Kim. Noah Clagg. Gregory Cox Kozemchak. Raul Lakhampao. Ashley Lee. Caleb Omar Lee. Kunal Raul Mehta. Macy Maureen Mulhall. Fabio Les. Fabio Lessa de Azevedo Correa de Oliveira. Xavier Ortiz. Daniel Alexa Papin. Elaine de High Park. Catherine Anne Prido. Mahesh Ram. Caitlin Rand. Jason Richter. Ricardo Rosario. Eddie Romano. Emma Carolyn Schmidt. Vivek Vinod Shaw. Sirui Shao. Yuki Shimizu. Miriam Kalida Siddiqui. Alicia Stacy. Ruby Tang. Santa Stella. Arshida Varshne. Arshana Vashis. Lyndon Wace. Caitlin Nicole Weldon. Kevin Shi. Shuyun Yang. 
Jackie Hanzang Yao. Lina Zambardino. Katie Yongj Zhang. Shital Sharma. Maz Ahmad. James Alderson Smith. Michelle Aileen Almeida. Karthik Anam Malay. Desha Aven. Bumika Batra. Thomas Andrew Baudouin. Andrea Bogarin. David Shao. Carlos Cevalas. Asian Chang. Jimmy Chen. Bensra Shangbanya Charoen. Meredith Titzel Craven. Carly Tyson Crocker. Jennifer Davis. Pilar de la Barra. Sanira Dev. Teresa Dula. Linjun Fan. Nabil Goshen. Carson Hobby Gibson. Nancy Claire Hewitt. Mason Alexander Haas. Razan Jabari. Ishani Jane. Palavi Jane. Marketa Jakubkova. Katrina Marie Johnson. Heather Lee Jones. Zungu Kang. Maeva Elizabeth Kanzanjan. William Kimball. May Lee. Miles Blade Lee. Austin Libowitz. Women Liu. Brendan Lofton. Monica Regina Dizon Lorenzo. Andrew Liu. Lily Yishuan Ma. 
Alex Mead. Chauvin Aresh Mehta. Sullivan McBandy. Alan Alejandro Montelongo. Imani Moody. Vashnav Pende. Patrick Pash. Vikram Patnik. Jenny Peng. Maria Alejandra Diego. Samuel Belarmo Preto. Mac Frost Priolo. David Tasek. Joanna Saenz. Jehi So. Priyanka Shah. Parth Sardi Sharma. Sierra Smith. Joji Sier. Naomi Xia. Jay Yadav. Celia Yu. Lukun Zhang. And Victoria Zhao. Class of 2023, congratulations on your graduation and officially welcome to the Wharton Alumni Community, the largest alumni network of any business school in the world. My name is Shannon Connolly. I'm Wharton's Executive Director of Alumni Relations. As a member of External Affairs, our team is excited to work with you, engage with you, and embrace you as a lifelong member of the Wharton family. Just as you were supported throughout your MBA experience by a dedicated team, there is a team of alumni relations professionals who will keep Wharton close to you, top of mind, wherever you are. You are now members of a community of more than 100,000 graduates in 154 countries around the world. You have your diplomas in hand. I'd like to ask for your help with one more rite of passage, this one involving your tassels. To commemorate today's transition, please move your tassel from right to left. Congrats, you have now arrived. But for a moment, let's go back in time. Remember two years ago, remember how proud you felt the day that you were admitted to Wharton? Probably quite excited, maybe a little unsure, but you knew that something big was awaiting you. That was an important moment and a turning point in all of your lives. It was just the beginning of your relationship with the school. You will carry that proverbial Wharton flag with you for life. It is now part of your personal brand. Your success will lift and strengthen Wharton. 
from global forums to webinars to volunteer opportunities, Wharton will continue to meet you where you are. 78 regional and affinity clubs will provide you with meaningful connection points between graduation and each of your reunions. Throughout, through your engagement, you will have opportunities to grow in your career, sharpen your skills, and expand your perspective on business. Take advantage of these opportunities to remain involved with the school and with the remarkable alumni community. Many alumni do acknowledge that their success is directly tied to their Wharton experience. With gratitude, they choose to give back to the school and pay it forward to future generations. As you step into life as alumni, your participation in the 2023 class gift deepens your relationship with the school. Thank you for investing early in the future of Wharton. We are grateful for your dedication to Wharton and your contributions to the class gift. Your class achieved approximately a 75% participation rate in the class gift, raising over $41,000. Thank you. We also thank this year's alumni fellows who worked tirelessly to ensure the success of the class gift campaign. Ravina Kaur and Mary Joseph, the co-chairs of the 2023 alumni fellows, will now present the class gift check to Dean James. And I'm now delighted to share with you a special Wharton tradition. Each year, alumni who have demonstrated leadership within the Penn and Wharton communities are extended an invitation to participate in graduation. One graduate is, is selected to serve as an alumni marshal who will pass the 2023 alumni flag to a member of the graduating class. This year, we are thrilled to have Gary Stead a 1985 MBA graduate who is our alumni marshal. Gary is a member of Wharton's Executive Board for Asia. He is engaged with the Wharton Club of Australia and New Zealand, and he has regularly volunteered for his class reunion efforts throughout the years. We are deeply grateful for Gary's commitment and meaningful support for the school. In passing, the alumni flag to Mary. Gary is linking the alumni community of yesterday to those alumni of today. <laughs> Welcome to the Wharton Alumni Network. Thank you, Gary and Mary. And thank you and our alumni around the globe who make Wharton's community the largest, most impactful, and most engaging business school alumni community in the world. So now, friends, families, and other supporters, this is your warning. This is the moment that most of you have been waiting for. On the count of three, if you haven't gotten your cameras out or your phones, please do so because the moment is now when I count to three for the graduates to toss their caps in the air. One, two, three. Woo! Congratulations, graduates.